foam rolling. What is it? Let me tell you. So foam rolling is a self-myofascial release or self-massaging. The trigger points and tight muscles that you have. Benefits of foam rolling is to be more pain-free, to avoid injuries, and to recover faster between each workout. Because whenever you work out, let's say for example, work out my biceps, I'm contracting that muscle every single rep that I do. Now if you don't cool down after each workout, that muscle is contracted. So what you really need to do is stretch that muscle after your workout so that it recovers a lot faster. So if you don't stretch it, then it stays tighter longer. Yes, you're burning calories when you work out, when you contract muscles, but you also need to think about the recovery period as well. When you foam roll, think of it like stretching. You should feel slight discomfort at most, but once you're done, you feel a lot better. So if you've done a rigorous stretching routine, you know, again, it doesn't have to be hard, but long enough that you feel a slight discomfort, but again, once you're done with the stretch routine, you feel way better. I personally do, especially after a hard workout, when I stretch, it feels a lot better than not stretching at all. So what causes trigger points or tight muscles? Well, there's RSI, which is repetitive strain injury. So something that you do in your daily lifestyle, be it work or sports, and you keep using the same muscle groups, so you feel tighter because again, when you work your muscles, you're contracting that muscle. Lifestyle habits, so if you stand on one leg a lot, or if you're seated a lot working, that also contributes to poor posture, tighter muscles, and trigger points. And no cool downs between intense workouts. Remember early, as I said, Whenever you work out, whenever you lift weights, you're contracting that muscle group, so you definitely need to stretch and foam roll after your workout. You could also foam roll before your workout as a warm up, but make sure you're warmed up, you already broke a sweat, just so that you allow blood flow to the local area. Because if you stretch or foam roll when your muscles are cold, it would probably injure you if you keep doing it over and over again. So again, you just need to warm up before you start foam rolling. And when you foam roll, I say do it in really slow movements. So work your way down or up your body really slowly. Take 30 to 60 seconds. A lot of people are like swinging on that foam roller and that shouldn't be the case. You need to take your time to get deeper into the muscle and then slowly move down as it relax. A good thing you need to do too is drink a lot of water. You need to stay well hydrated because our muscles are mostly made out of water. And if you're foam rolling that tissue there, it really helps being well hydrated as opposed to be chronically dehydrated, which most people are, that will really slow down your results. And the last thing is don't roll on your bones. Don't roll on your shins, don't roll on your knee, don't roll on your elbow, don't roll on your neck, because we're rolling the muscles here, not the bones. So I'm gonna show you a few foam rolling exercises that will help you get faster results. Again, it helps you with recoveries between each workout you'll definitely avoid injuries because once you're injured, they'll really slow down your results. And if you don't have a speedy recovery between workouts, and that means that you'll have to take more time to rest between each workout. But when you foam roll, it speeds the recovery process because you're allowing that lactic acid buildup to flush out.